The Inspector General of Police, IGP Ibrahim Idris, has asked Senate President Bukola Saraki to appear at the Office of Intelligence Response Team, IRT, office in Abuja over the robbery incident that took place in Offa, Kwara State, in April this year. In a letter dated July 23rd and addressed to Saraki, the police IG asked the Senate President to be at IRT's office at 8 a.m. on Tuesday for further investigation. The police had said some of the robbery suspects confessed that they were Saraki's thugs, an allegation he has since denied. The lawmaker was asked to appear at force headquarters for questioning, but the police eventually said Saraki should not appear in person but respond to the allegations of the suspects in writing. Details of the letter of invitation which was addressed to the Senate President read, Letter of invitation, case of offer robbery and gruesome murder of more than 31 persons and snatching of 21 Alaska 47 rifles on 5 April 2018. I refer to this office letter CR, 3000 slash IG dot sec, ABJ, volume, 13570 first dated the 4th of June 2018 and your letter of response NAS 8th SSP LGP, the 18th of June 15 dated the 7th of June 2018 on the above subject matter, copies attached, and to further restate as follows. Recall that the Police Intelligence Response Team IRT, is investigating a case of armed robbery which occurred on 5 April 2018 during which a gang of daredevil armed robbers stormed off a Quara State and attacked a police station. Robbed six banks namely First Bank, Guarantee Trust Bank, Eco Bank, Zenith Bank, Union Bank and Elbolo Microfinance Bank, killed over 31, 31 persons including 9 police officers and pregnant women and snatched 20, 21 AK-47 rifles. During the investigation of the armed robbery by the intelligence response team, a CCTV footage of the armed robbery in one of the banks captured the image of two persons. The CCTV footage was circulated on the social media and this led to their identification as Kunle Og and Lele and Michael Adekwu. The two persons were tracked and arrested by the police and they made very useful statements and named the five gang leaders who organized the armed robbery. Some of the five gang leaders made confessional statements admitting the participation in this worst armed robbery in the history of Nigeria and that their political thugs under the name, Youth Liberation Movement aka are Good Boys, allegedly sponsored by you and that you have given them firearms, money and vehicles. It was equally discovered that one of the vehicles, a Lexus Jeep, used by the gang leader, Ayoade Kinabosan, has a sticker plate number, S-A-R-A-K-I, Quara State of Harmony. The Lexus Jeep was parked in the government house after the arrest of Iwad Kinabosan and in order to conceal evidence, the chief of staff to the executive governor of Kwara State, arranged for the removal of the sticker plate number, S-A-R-A-K-I Kwara State of Harmony, for the Lexus Jeep and quickly registered it in the name of the suspect, six days after the suspect has been arrested by the police. Specifically Mr. Iwad Kinabosan, M. 27 years in his confessional statement stated that members of his group are political thugs working for Senator Bukola Saraki and Governor of Kwara State. That he is the head of the political thugs named Youth's Liberation Movement covering about seven, seven local governments areas of Kwara South. That he gets vehicle and monetary gifts etc. from Senator Bukola Saraki through the Chief of Staff to the Governor of Kwara State, that the last money he got directly from Senator Bukola Saraki was 500,000 and 500,000 Naira. He made mention of some other thugs in Kwara Central with guns which Senator Bukola Saraki is sponsoring as Alhaji Alawad, Alhaji Dona, Alhaji Huando among others, that Senator Bukola Saraki supplies the arms and vehicles to the thugs, that everyone in Kwara Central fear them because of the guns and ability to kill anybody without hesitation. Furthermore, the suspect Ayoade Kinambo since stated that the day you Senator Saraki visited Offa in sympathy with the victims to the Palace of the Oba, that he and two other gang members were with you in the convoy. 
In your response to the above allegations, you stated, by virtue of my participation in politics, I have a large followership which makes it impossible for me to know all of them. I can say categorically that I am in no way associated with the vehicle mentioned in your letter nor have I given any arms to any thug or other persons in Quara State or anywhere else. For the records, your letter under reference did not include the full text of the statements made by the accused persons. After a careful perusal of your letter to the police, it was discovered that the statement requires further clarification and coupled with the fact that you stated that the full text of the statements of the suspects were not shown to you, it is imperative you report to the police to make further statements after giving you the full text of the statements of the suspects. It is in line with the above that you are requested to report to the head of the investigation team at the Intelligence Response Team at Gurzape Junction, Asikoro Extension Abuja on 24 July 2018 at 8am for further investigation on the matter.